little kids. Fuck the kids? Yeah. You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast. Your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up, guys? Shun of the King here. I came to visit some family in uh, Virginia. And uh, we stopped past the Target, so you know your boy gotta go check out the toy section. It's mandatory. All right, let's see what they got. All right, guys, so we're in the section. We're at the uh, foreign target. See what they got, see what they got. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh. We got a beachhead. I mean, a gun hole. I didn't really want him, but he's rare, so I'm gonna get him. So that is a score. Let's see what else they got. To that same squirrel girl looks like they also have war machine in abundance but we got him on the last episode so we don't need him now um crossbones black widow marvel weapon x spy master on this side we don't see anything let's see if they got a NECA section all right, guys, we're going to check out the mecha section. We got a gun hole. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh. This is different. Let's see what we got here. We got aliens. I've never seen this one before. What is this? We got the armored assassin predator. Oh, this is from the movie. This dude is freaking huge. Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Stephen I have to see what he's all about. How to be an anti racist, an anti racist baby. I wrote How to be an anti racist so you could recognize and dismantle. All right, looks like they also got a uh, cigar to go to. They don't got no turtles, though. No turtles. They got pops. Let me show you guys the pops. Justice for all. Okay, you can slow it down or. Okay, so it looks like that's it, guys. We did get a gun hole, so I'm gonna consider this a victory. See you next time. All right, we're in another target location number two. Okay, that was Trying to find some Joes. I got a line that said that they're supposed to have some uh, Cobra Troopers, so we're gonna try to see if we got them. They said they had six on the app, so. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, we're in the aisle. I'm not seeing any Cobra Troopers. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Let's see, here go the Marvel Legends. So it looks like we got Warpath. I heard good things about this Warpath, by the way. I heard he had a really nice body for, like, a saber tooth. Like, I can't get him right now because I have a purpose. But, looks like they have some of the lines. You guys can see what they got. But I don't see any Joes. So, I'm going to have to ask somebody. And just hope and pray. I don't even see what they got the box for it. All right, let's pause for the call. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, people? Showing up the king here, back with episode three of toy hunting slash toy haul. It's the showing up toy haul. You know what it is. All right. So I know how I said that don't look forward to episodes like this every week. I know I said that, but reality is a whole lot of different things. All right. So, <laughs> um, before, uh, before I get into the uh, start of the episode, I just want to let you guys know that uh, the scene that you'll see next will be me uh, going into a uh, Target, because that's where I'm heading right now. Um, but right after that will be a scene that was actually filmed the day prior, because um, 
actually was uh, out and about on um, visiting family out in Virginia and I had an opportunity to stop in, uh, in Virginia at a, a Target location. So when you see the Target location, um, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. All right, I don't got to go into all the details. All right, so anyway, episode three, we out here. Going to Target and my, I'm back at work. It's Tuesday, Tuesday after Labor Day. I'm going to uh, the Target by my job so that I can see what they got. I'm always on the hunt for Joe's and um, I'm still looking to finish off the Power Ranger um, Wave 6. And funny story with that, it's time for story time. Uh, once again, my good luck toy charm wife has come through with the motherfucking clutch. Let me tell you about it. So, I upload episode two. That was, I think, Friday. I, was, I upload episode two. And my wife goes out to Walmart on Saturday morning to run some errands, pick up a few knickknacks here and there. And I decided to stay home with the kids. You know, I had just been out the day before. And again, like, I don't have the, the, the dexterity to be doing, like, two, three-hour toy hunts. I just don't have it in me. You got about two or three stores max in one sitting before I'm just like, fuck it, I'm going home. That's why I do most of my pre-orders online. Anyway, so my wife goes out to run some errands on Sunday, and I get a text message from her. And I look at the I look at the text message. I met my man came. I'm playing the new Marvel's Avengers game on uh, PlayStation Four, and I get a text message from my wife, and she's like, "Do you have these?" And I look at the picture, and I'm like, "I'll be damned." She got the uh, Mighty Morphin um, Zeo, I said Mighty Morphin, Zeo Red Ranger and the new Goldar. So, of course, I was like, fuck yeah, get those. So, she got them for me and I was uh, very excited. So, again, and again, keep in mind, you guys saw from episode two that I was looking for those figures, could not find them. She goes out to a Walmart, no less, the very next day and finds them. That's just, just, that's just how crappy my toy luck be sometimes. But you know, as long as you got, as long as I got my wife holding me down, I'm good to go. All right, so we heading to the Target, see what they got. Hopefully they got some good shit. Maybe they got some turtles or something. But again, it's it's the afternoon, so I'm not I'm not hopeful. But uh, we'll be there in a second, so we'll see you there. All right, boys, we are here at the Target. Let's see what we can get. for some of that good old toy luck. And let's see. Uh. All right guys, so we're here. As you can see, they got Zeal Blue, but none of the new wave. No Joes at all, not even Beach. I said Beach had, uh, as you can see, looks like they do have the Age of Apocalypse wave and the Strong Guy wave. They got Sheikla, Weapon X, Weapon X, Sunfire, Morph, Sunfire, The Leader, Wild Child. Miss Marvel. Oh, and they got Todoroki. I didn't, he's not even in the right spot. Uh, Squirrel Girl. Nobody wants Squirrel Girl. And I think that's it. Let's go look at NECA. All right, we're in the NECA section. I see something turtle related, but I think it's just the, the t-shirts. Yeah. So it looks like these are the Mutagen Tour t-shirts. Looks like they've already been opened, so I wouldn't trust that at all. You got a Broily. You got some Gundam. You got Godzilla for days. We got some Pops. You can see that. All right, guys. So it looks like this trip to Target was a bust. All right, let's uh, head up to the next location. All right, boys, we struck out at the first Target. Now we're at Target location number two, closer to my house. Let's see what they got. 
All right, guys, we're in the aisle. We got Beyblade for Marvel. We have a misplaced Majin Buu. This isn't in the right spot. We got a Captain America, Miss Marvel, garbage, garbage. Squirrel Girl, garbage. Garbage, garbage. No Joe. Ooh, we got a Lady J. We got a Lady J. But I already have her, so I don't need another one. If it was Duke, I might have got it, but I don't need Lady J. We got the Masterpiece Starscream. We got some Siege. We still got some of those new Power Rangers. We still don't have Wave 6. What's this back here? Just another Morpher. All right, guys. Looks like this is another fruitful, fruitless journey. Let's take a quick look on the other side. We got Toy Story, Ben 10. Let's see. We got the droids. What else do we have? Nothing of any importance. These are actually uh, half off at Target. This is 150 here. It's half off at Target. I still wouldn't pay half off for that, though. Looks like the uh, Elite Collection figures are starting to move. They're starting to get rid of the AJ Styles. All right. Let's take a quick look at Mecca. And we're going to be gone. Again, just to warn you guys, this Mecca section over here, this location sucks balls. So they don't have anything. Same old, same old. Nothing new. Here are the pops for you pop guys. Ooh, is this a slice for the Sky Dragon for Yu-Gi-Oh? I love me some Yu-Gi-Oh, but I ain't buying none. All right, let's go. What's up, boys? I'm back. It's uh, morning. Believe it or not, I got a line on some beachheads at a Target, and I'm going to try and scoop them up. So I am heading to Target now. I'm not 100% confident that I'll get it, but again, stranger things have happened. So uh, yeah, oh, uh, while I'm driving, quick update, I have managed to get my hand on my um, Cobra Commander. He finally came in the mail from Amazon, so got that. He looks beautiful. I haven't opened him up yet. I'm just waiting to do a uh, wrap-up video at the end of the week like I do for my toy haul, and then I'll open him up and properly review him on the uh, Instagram or or YouTube. I haven't decided quite yet, but um, so look forward to that. And uh, I think that's it. So for right now, like I said, I'm heading towards the target now to try to get there before they open and get my hand on these beachheads so I can uh, trade them for other things. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. Hi boys, we're outside of Target. Uh, about five minutes to open. I'm number one in line. So, uh, fingers crossed that I can get my hands on these beachheads. We'll see what happens. Alright boys, I'm back, and I'm not gonna, I got them, I'm not gonna drag it out, so, but there's a funny story behind me actually getting this thing, so, I go into the Target, and I go to the aisle, and obviously they're not on the shelf, the Joes are never on the shelf, at least in my locations, so, I walk down the aisles, and I see this guy doing some stocking, and when I saw him, I was kind of, and again, I'm not here to offend anybody, but I know I can't be the only one that has dealt with this kind of situation before where you see an individual and you can just tell by looking at said individual that they are going to be less than helpful and they probably shouldn't be the person that you should ask for help. This happens to me a lot at, uh, at Walmart. It happens to me, you know, sometimes when I go to certain sections, like if I'm looking for, let's say if I'm looking for a video game in an electronic section and I can 
walk up to a certain individual and tell whether or not I should even bother asking that person because they're probably not going to know what the hell I'm talking about. That was this guy. So I walk up to him and I'm like, hey, um, I'm looking for this item. You know, how you doing? Good morning. Polite. You know, because again, like I said in my, uh, my episode one video, be polite. So I was like, yeah, I'm looking for this action figure. You know, um, I looked on the shelf. It's not there. So I was just trying to see if you can look in the back and see if you can find it. Uh, which one is it? So, you know, I can give him the DCPI number. He's like, and I was like, you know, I was like it's G.I. Joe. So he pulls up his thing and types in generic G.I. Joe. And again, I'm like, oh, here we go. So he's like, yeah, I don't think we have that. Well, let me look over here. And I'm like, and I'm like, okay. So I'm like, yeah, maybe they, they it's like a protocol. They got to, you know, walk and find it or at least look and see if it's on the shelf. And I'm like walking with him. I'm like, yeah, I've already looked on the shelf. It's not there. So, you know, but if you want to go look for yourself, by all means. So he goes to the shelf and obviously it's not there because I know because I was just there yesterday. And um, it's not there. So I was like, he's like, yeah, so yeah, we might not have it. And I'm like, no, I checked the, the DCPI number. It definitely says you guys have three on stock. And he's like, oh, okay, let me put the number in. I'm like, that's what I actually do the first time, my guy. Come on. So he checks on his little machine. He's like, yeah, it says we don't have it. Yeah, so we got two trucks, so maybe that's it. And then we just got to wait for the other truck to come in. And I'm just, again, I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? And, you, and then I like, and then what I didn't do now here, and again, here's the advice that I gave in episode one. When you get a dullard like this, don't flip out on him because clearly he's either doing one or two things. Either he's playing dumb and doesn't want to help you because he wants to buy it himself later, or he is lazy and doesn't feel like going in the back to go and look. It's one of those two things. So what I did, I was like, okay, thank you. And I, and I left. And what I did was, is I took the time and I went around and I looked for a more competent individual. And once I saw that person, I was like, okay, this person looks like he knows what he's talking about. And I went up and repeated the process. I was like, Hey, how you doing? You know, I'm looking for such and such item. I, you know, I couldn't find it. Do you think you can help me? I have a DCPI number. So he was able to pull DCPI numbers like, yep, yeah, it looks like we have three on stock. It's probably in the back. It just got delivered today. Uh, let me go check for you. And I was like, oh, thank you. Boom. So he goes in the back and he immediately comes out with the said item. And the funny thing is, is that the other guy was walking right past when the other guy was coming out. And I wanted to kind of just go into his face and kind of like flash it in his face like you, mother. But I did. So I was able to secure one beachhead. So first first uh, lucky hit of the week um, there might be another line on another beachhead uh, somewhere else but again I don't have the time to go do that right now so I might have to place a call to the wife to see if she can scoop that up for me so I'll keep you guys posted alright see you next week what up boys uh, quick update so I stopped past a Walmart because I had to look up get something for my kids and you know I went into the toy aisle because again I'm me and um, I wasn't recording because again I didn't really expect to find anything because again it's Walmart it's a rarity especially in the afternoon to find anything so I was going through the aisles and look what I found Power Rangers in space yellow and this is only one per case and I was able to score this one they also had uh, Zeo Ranger Tommy and Goldar on the show. Still no black, but got her. So shout out to shout out to the Target because again I didn't see that shit coming. So unfortunately I couldn't get the live reaction, and I'm not one of those people who fake reactions. Because again once I saw it I was like oh shit, but again I didn't want to pull out the camera and just pretend like I found it for the first time. I don't want to do that. But uh, so yeah, I got a in space yellow. Also got beachhead today, so that's a damn good day. That's a damn good day. All right, I'll see y'all next location. Okay. What is up, people? We are back in the man cave. It's time for the wrap up, guys. It's been a crazy, crazy episode three, but it's now in the books. I didn't think I was going to have enough content to put out to you guys this week, but lo and behold. The toy gods had saw fit to bless me and you guys with this video. So, let's go over the spoils. Alright, so, 
as I said in the video um, earlier in the week, my wife, she was able to score me both the uh, Zeo Ranger, um, Red, Zeo Red Ranger, and the Goldar. Um, I will be doing a, a double review for these this weekend, so look out for that. Um, one thing I will say uh, quick, do not buy the new Goldar. This is the Goldar that we got that was a GameStop exclusive. And here is the Goldar that they said it was going to be completely reworked as far as the paint. And I don't know if you guys can see it. The paint looks exactly the same. From fur, from quick glance, the only difference that I see is that the sword has paint on it and the sword is a little bit longer. But the actual overall colors are exactly the same and it is completely this is a this is a misrepresentation of what is actually what you get on the inside because this looks this looks different under the paint job on the front and the back when you actually look at the figure the, the paint job looks exactly the same so don't waste your money on goldar i'll still remember i'll still review him but again just to tell you from that off the jump um also as you guys just saw i was able to get the in space yellow um I am currently in the process of selling this one, so it won't probably end up in my collection. I already have it on pre-order through Amazon, so I'm, I'm selling this one currently. Hopefully, it'll be sold by the end of the weekend. Uh, also, um, I didn't get a chance to put it in the um, the video last week, but I, last week I also got the three-pack from Amazon: the uh, Nimrod, Phantom X, and Psylocke. Um, this was a really good figure set. I really enjoyed it. It's already unboxed and on display so that's why it's not in here but i wanted to make sure i put it in this video so you guys could see that i did get it uh also one that was not in the video uh, in episode two but i forgot i forgot but i did get it last week was the teenage mutant ninja turtles secret of the ooze super shredder um again love the figure i did a review for it it is on my youtube channel um it's actually doing really well you guys are really supporting that video so keep going so this is the Super Shredder. It's already in my display for my NECA Turtles. Uh, what else we got? Uh, this is the Roadblock. Um, you guys saw that in the video. So that's Roadblock. And the last two, uh, we have the um, ZD Toys Iron Man Mark III. This is from um, China, I think. I think it's from China. I, th I think it's from China. Uh, the box art on this thing is amazing. This is an amazing Iron Man figure. I just, this is the most recent video that I have on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link for it in the description below. Uh, but definitely check out the review for this. It's on a 7-inch scale. This is an amazing Iron Man. You guys definitely want this in your collection. Check out the review. It's in the um, description. Alright. And the last thing that actually just showed up from Amazon. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna hold. Uh, is Cobra Commander. Yes, I've told you guys, I really, really think that this G.I. Joe classified wave is definitely going to be on my list of the best line of 2020. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this thing, that Baroness and the coil bike. That is a phenomenal action figure. The Cobra Troopers are, mwah. if you guys can get your hands on this thing, definitely do it. Um, also, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Um, I want to thank you guys so, so much. I asked for help last week, and you guys definitely delivered. I was at 657 um, subscribers last week, and now I'm at 671. So we are almost there. We are almost to the thousands. So we're almost getting ready to do that, um, to do the, the giveaway for the action figure. So let's keep chugging along. Um, also, with this Cobra Commander, I am actually um, ordered a custom uh, Cobra throne for Cobra Commander. That'll be in the mail next week, so make sure you guys are turn on bell notifications so when I do upload that video, you'll be able to see that review. And again, if it's good, I'll let you know where I got it so you guys can get it for yourself. Um, also, I ordered a custom um, Cobra Commander head sculpt. Not the metal frame, the mask, but with the, uh, the the blanket or the sheet draped across his face, the old school one. So that should probably be coming in the mail in the next week or two. So I'll be reviewing that as well. And um, I think that is it. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. We are still on the road to a thousand subscribers. We're going to get it done. Um, again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the Instagram, which is Magnet Podcast, as well as the Facebook page, which is Magnet Podcast. 
Uh, again, stay tuned towards the end of the month. I have a lot of great content coming your way. Uh, lots of good things are coming. So again, I really appreciate every single one of you boys. Have a good weekend.